the final play of the 2020 season. And the Bengals off-season rebuilding can commence. Nothing has been easy. Nothing worth having is ever easy. This is the way we probably would have drawn it up. You know, go through the really hard times, see what's at the core of the people in the building, the people around us, um, see who's really got your back outside the building, you know, and then slowly, piece by piece, build it the right way. Don't skip any steps so that you know that you've earned everything that comes your way. Hey, Sam Hubbard. Right here. You've heard me stand right here and give some tough speeches the last two years, haven't I? Oh, yeah. Ooh, so, yeah. Sitting right here brings back some tough memories yes, of how far we've come, fellas. But I could not be prouder. I'm seeing it now as we progress and move forward, you know, of how much success we're starting to get and the change of how we were to where we are now. You know, everyone that talks with Zach about the direction that this organization was headed, I felt like it was fact when he was describing the plan. And when he was explaining it, I was like, that's the guy I want to be with. That's the guy that has a plan and is going to get us to where we want to go. Hey, Joe, Joe, great job stepping up because they're coming right around the top. You're doing an awesome job managing that. Our belief in him comes from his belief in us, really. The leadership that he puts on the players and, and you know, the kind of his expectations towards us and for us. There you go, Jermaine. boy, nice job, Jermaine. Nice job, Jermaine. Let's go, Mike. We need a turnover here, Mike. We got the best kicker in the country. Let's go get a turnover. Coach Zach, I think it starts with respect. You know, um, once you see that someone respects you, it's very easy for you to listen to them and to respect them. He's earned my respect from day one. <laughs> Zach did a great job of just, just surrounding the team with great people, you know, guys that's unselfish, guys that's willing to go in there, do everything he got to do to get his job done. He's the guy who told me that the locker room was so great, and that's one thing that they had right, was he can guarantee that the locker room and the guys that they have are the right guys. When people like walking into the building every day, that matters. You're able to get that extra 1% or 2% out of them when it matters most. We've just tried to create a culture where we're demanding there's clear standards that have been set for the guys. But if, if you feel great about what you're doing and where you're doing it and who you're doing it with, it's gonna carry to some really good things. And the Bengals have won the AFC North. You talk about the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Do I think that Coach Taylor should be the coach of the year? Yes, 100%. It's tough to, to put completely into words. He really has changed the way that we've thought as a team, as a culture, as a city. And I love, you know, representing the city. I think we all do. We, we all understand that uh, this is a city that, that loves this football team, wants to see success from this football team. So there's a responsibility for us to represent it the right way, give our fans something to cheer for, and uh, put a great team on the field that everybody can be proud of.